All right, you're here because you wanna learn how to post uh, live videos using Zoom onto Facebook. There's two ways I'm gonna show you how to do it. One, you could do it on demand. So you could take a, a, a meeting that you're in right now in Zoom and push that live onto Facebook. The challenge with that is that you can't really pre-plan or get people to share it. And I see a lot of people scramble once they've hit live to say, everybody share and push this out and do a whole bunch of stuff, which kind of, kills the mood of the meeting. If you wanna do scheduled Facebook Lives using Zoom meetings, I'm gonna show you how to do that. I just caught the fly that's been bugging me. I'm gonna show you how to do that um, inside of the Zoom custom streaming settings so that you can schedule Facebook posts that you can push out so you can do a lot more promotion and start to create a bit of a consistency for your brand. So let's get going. Okay, so this was a bit of a hard video to make. I've tried this about five or six times because if you think trying to schedule a Facebook Live using Zoom is tough, try recording a video of how to do this step by step by using multiple cameras inside of Zoom and Facebook Live. You're gonna see my face a whole bunch, so buckle up. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. The first thing I wanna show you is um, I'm gonna show you there's three places that we could post. One is I can post it on my personal page, two, I can post it on my business page, or three, I can post it inside of a group. So the first thing I want you to do is inside your settings in Zoom, you wanna make sure you have this, in Meeting Advanced is down here, scroll down, you wanna make sure that you have these things checked. Facebook, and at, at very least, I would check all of them, but custom live streaming service, that's gonna be the important one for scheduling. And in my meetings, I'm, you know, I've got a bunch of different meetings, uh, whether they're recurring meetings with clients or ones that people book, say through, like, might book like a boss. But we're gonna create a new one. I just deleted all the ones I was working on, but we're gonna schedule a new meeting, and we're just gonna call this. So maybe you have a show that you run, like we have Whiskey Friday, but I'm just gonna call this Facebook Live. Facebook Live to keep it simple. You guys get to watch me type. Facebook Live, and what I'm gonna do with this, this is the one I'm gonna go live from anytime I wanna schedule or if I wanna do it uh, any other way. But if you have a consistent show that you wanna invite people to, uh, name it whatever you want, have fun with this, there's lots of cool stuff in here. But I'm gonna click Recurring Meeting, and I'm gonna do no fixed time on this because then I can use it anytime I want. Um, don't need a meeting password, it's up to you how you do all this kind of stuff. And then I'm gonna click Save. You can set up all your settings how you want. But now we've got this, we've got this meeting. And so I'm gonna show you the step one of how you can go live. I'm gonna start this meeting. Now be careful, here comes my face a few times. Got this little fly that keeps trying to get at me. Okay, so there's my face again. Now we're in Zoom and we're both places. Ooh, there, 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 there we go. So now we are here, if you're in a meeting, uh, this is, so I've had a lot of people that do this is they go on, which camera, look at this camera. They'll go on a Facebook Live, they'll have a couple people on here, uh, and then they'll say, okay, you guys ready? Now we're gonna go on Facebook Live. They go down here and they click, which makes sense, live on Facebook. When they click this button, it takes them to another page and then it should say, where do you want us to do this? And I can share this in a group and I can go into my group called Whiskey Friday Test and I can click next. So now what we're doing just goes on Facebook. The challenge with this is that now, let's say everybody's in the meeting, I could do this before the meeting starts, right? But now I'm gonna do this and then I have to hit go live. And then what I see a lot of people do is say, hey everybody, be, well, as we get started here, can you go, like we can add people, we can tag them, we can do all that kind of stuff. And then once we go live, they say, hey, can everybody share this out? Let's, let's just give me a couple minutes, I'm gonna post this all over the place. That's what a lot of people do. But if you're just gonna go live, say, and everybody knows that's what time you're gonna do it, you have a consistent schedule, this will work for you. Uh, and that's how you just go live right through Zoom. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna cancel this out, we're gonna start, and you can see that the delay, uh, about 15 seconds, so you can see my hand talking. Uh, I'm gonna exit out of that, we're gonna click off of that. That's step one where we are in a meeting, and we have, oh, what camera do I wanna look at? Now we've gone live, and it says live preparing, and boom, there, that meeting is over. Okay, so that is the first one. We're gonna go back into Zoom. Okay, so now we wanna do a scheduled Facebook Live post using Zoom to broadcast. 
Uh, this one's a bit more complex, so uh, follow along and let's have some fun. In the meeting, we've already set some of the stuff up, but what I want you to do is, so you've got your Facebook Live that you've, uh, the meeting that you've set up inside of Zoom. We're gonna go down to live streaming. Now I've already put the uh, codes in here, but I'm gonna show you what codes we need. So sorry, I'll show you where that is again. We go to live and there's a little button that says configure live meetings, uh, live streaming settings. So we're gonna go into that. We're gonna edit these. And we're going to show these now inside of our Facebook page. We're going to click live and we want to take this right here and put that here. Okay. That's the lot that when somebody clicks on that link and you're live, that's where they'll go. We want to find this server URL. We want to take this code and put that one right here. Okay. And then we want to have this button set up here, a persistent stream key. And when we click that, you can see it generates a key that we can copy and we can put that right there. Okay. When we hit save, it sets all of those up. But what we're going to be doing here is a live video. So this stream key is the same one there that we've just put in there. So if we use the custom streaming settings, we're gonna be good. So the persistent stream key is all set up there. So we can go now and schedule a live one. I'm gonna do this. So I'm going to do this and that's going to be the look of what I'm doing. And we are going to, let's select an image. So now we've selected an image. This is what it's going to look like. And we're going to set it for 1019. We have to go usually about 10 minutes before. So we're going to schedule this live video. So you can do this anytime you want. This is, I'm posting this right now live to my page. Uh, so you can see what this looks like to set it up. So I'm going to close that now. It's waiting for a live video. So this one's going to start. So now what you can see uh, is that we are set up to go live and this is going to go live in six minutes. So what you can do now is you can invite all your guests. Uh, they can be sharing this out. You go into your Zoom meeting, just like a regular Zoom meeting. Uh, and now this, if I go here, let's just minimize this a little bit. So let's pretend this is a regular old Zoom meeting over here. Uh, now just be, keep in mind the delay that happens. But if I share my screen now, I don't even know which screen to share uh, to make this not go completely weird. Uh, but I'm going to share now my screen, uh, which is this screen, <laughs> and that should pop up on here. So you can see it's going to take about 15 minutes uh, or 15 seconds for that to come up. And so now you can treat this just like a regular Zoom meeting. Um, and so you can see I'm up here on this. So you probably have, my face is probably on here like three times right now. But you've got my face up here. You've got my face down here. And now this should be sharing. So now we've got multiple, look at this, oh baby. So now this is a screen share. So just like a regular Zoom meeting, um, you can do this. And so now you can, um, if I stop the share, you can start the counter now, let's count. So that was about 20 seconds uh, of time that elapsed uh, before uh, it, it goes. So just remember that if you're going on your Zoom meeting and you're looking at your live stream under the screen, there's a 20 second lag. But now we are, you can see inside of Zoom, this is what you're gonna see. Inside of Zoom is going to just be a regular Zoom meeting. So for the experience for the people that you're dealing with, they can be in here just having a regular old Zoom meeting with you, sharing screens, doing all that kind of stuff. And in the background is going to be this Facebook Live that's running in the background. Now you can have, if it was me, I would be running uh, that Facebook page. Uh, let's see, you know, I'm just going to let this go live.
Okay, so you can see that uh, the live stream is going to start in about 25 seconds. Now, there's a couple places we're going to do this. Uh, I'm going to see if this even works. <laughs> but on my page, you can see that I plan to go live. I've tagged some people in it. We've shared it uh, a couple different places. We're going to go live in 10 seconds. Now we're in the Zoom meeting. Let's go into the Zoom meeting. And this is what's going to happen. Oh, man, this is a, a bit of a wild child. Here we go. So this should say go live to one. Now we should be live. So let's see what happens here. Let's move this. Looks like, looks like we made it. Okay, cool. So now you can see this pops up on the screen. So, uh, hey, welcome everybody. Anybody that's joining right now, you are in for a weird treat and I don't know which camera to look at. Here's what I'm doing. I am recording a video training right now on how to, which camera I look at? I'm recording a video training right now inside Camtasia to show people how to um, do Facebook Live scheduled posts through Zoom using the custom streaming uh, setup. And so I just wanted to do this and show inside this weird inception YouTube video uh, that I have uh, on how to do everything. And so I've got my Camtasia set up, I've got YouTube set up, I'm doing the live streaming, and I've got two cameras going and I've been losing my mind trying to make all of this stuff work. But this is what it looks like and stay tuned for the YouTube video uh, on what's going on. It looks like Ursula is saying hi. Hi Ursula, you know what? Thanks so much for joining. You seem like a rare breed of very awesome special people <laughs> that uh, are commenting on this stuff. So you'll see the training on this coming up very shortly. So thanks for joining. If you found this, it's a weird video and it doesn't mean anything until we put the YouTube stuff together. So thanks so much. And I'm gonna end this live video now. Okay, so that is how it goes. I'm gonna just close out of Zoom here. So uh, I don't know which camera to look at, but that's how we're gonna do it. We've ended this meeting. All right, so that's it. So now we've done this on uh, on the page. We've created a live scheduled one that we were able to share and send out and have comments. And this is what it looks like. Looks like, looks like we made it. All right, cool. So now you can see this pops up on the screen. So. Uh, hey, welcome everybody. Anybody that's joining right now, you are in for a weird treat. And I don't know which camera to look at. Here's what I'm doing. I am recording a video. So there you go. That's how the video setup looks. Um, it's pretty fun to be able to do this. So now I want you to think about how can you maybe create a consistent uh, schedule of Facebook Lives that you can pre-plan, get them set up, get people invited, use your mailing list, set them up, set them up almost like uh, you could do webinars and invite people to be guests on your shows. You could do a live panel discussion once a week. You could do a live podcast once a once a week or once a month or something and then you can take all of that stuff which then gets recorded into zoom and then post that out as additional content so I had a heck of a time trying to make all of this technology work so I could do all this recording with all these tools so that I could show you how really easy it is but all you need to do is either go live through zoom on demand or set up this scheduling one and you're gonna have a lot of fun being able to get people excited so that you don't have to just wait click live and then try and scramble to get people okay so i hope that helps remember to subscribe and click the notification and you know just be a part of what we're doing my goal this year is to really grow this youtube channel and provide more training and resources so if you have an idea of what you'd like to see training on post that in the comments you know we talk a lot about sales leadership mindset change and especially right now software and systems to make your lives easier so hope that helps uh, and I will talk to you next time hey this is Joe Gerard with change grow achieve thanks for checking this out remember to subscribe and check out some of the other videos and resources we have you know as a sales coach I spend a lot of my time just helping people be less weird and more human with their customers if we can help you and your high-performing team reach out to us let us know and let's connect soon